All right, so this is gonna be somewhat of an interesting video. I have never done a vlog, but I really wanted to do one. I watch tons of vlogs on YouTube like all the time. And Mike actually got me this vlogging camera for Christmas and I have used it for like my swatches, but I have yet to do a vlog video. So I wanted to get a little bit more like up close and personal with you guys. I feel like I just talk about makeup on my channel and like when I talk about makeup and I do tutorials, I keep it very like makeup based. Maybe this will do well, maybe this will flop depending on whether you guys like this or not. I'll either continue it or stop it. So this is me, like this is the raw me. Um, it is, what time is it? It's 10.35, I woke up around 8 a.m. I usually try to wake up by 8 a.m. on the weekends. I'm like a big sleeper, I love sleeping. Mike usually gets up at like 6 a.m., goes to the gym, and then by the time he's like done and showered, I wake up. Right now, I need to film a quick swatch clip for my video that's going up today i'm reviewing a bunch of collab beauty makeup so that is all affordable drugstore makeup that you can find exclusively at sally's so yeah that's where i'm at i need to finish uploading that video so that'll go up and then i need to work out if you guys like to do at home workout videos my aunt introduced me to this youtuber her name is sydney cummings if you like to lift weights and you like to work out in a body focused way so like one day you'll do arms one day you'll do legs one day you do cardio abs she's great and honestly i have been doing her for the last month and my body is definitely changing which is actually awesome like this morning i woke up and mike was like wow you look like very toned and i was like yes i find for me that the best way to actually do the workout is to put it in my calendar so i'll go on youtube i'll find the workout that i want to do and then i'll add it to my calendar and i'll insert it for like the time that i think i'm gonna get home by i work out at night i'm like not a morning person so i actually put in my calendar yesterday what workout i'm doing today 40 minute cardio and abs so i put it in there and then i'll put like the url so i can just click this and yeah put it on my computer so yeah i'm gonna record this watch video and upload my video and then i guess i'll show you guys some clips of my workout yeah so i'm gonna go do that and i'll see you guys in a little bit side taps with your hips all the way to the floor ready let's go roll your feet over touch Pull back to the middle, roll them right back over and touch. If you need to modify, don't go all the way to the floor. Just control that side drop. 15 seconds, come on. you to do is keep your shoulder blades up okay I don't want you laying down and just kind of rolling it crunch and then twist ten more seconds you got nine eight seven get ready to lay down again three two one oh my god Sydney Cummings on YouTube like I said before she kicks my ass but like I love it, it's so good. And honestly, whoa, I gotta get used to holding this camera. Honestly, like, I've been doing this for almost a month and I've seen such a change in my body, like, but you really need to work on it. I'm not only working out six days a week, but I also eat pretty clean. That's not to say like, I don't indulge here and there, but overall my diet's pretty clean. So I'm gonna hop on this little stationary bike, get another like five minutes in of cardio. So yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna put this up. <laughs> All right, let's make a shake. Oh, none of the shakes are clean. All right, I gotta wash the shake. Okay, I have a clean container now. How exciting! Oh, but the blade is dirty. 
Clearly I did not prep for uh, filming my protein shake. All right, so we're gonna do something simple because I don't like protein shakes and simple usually is best for me. Okay, let's go. Unsweetened original almond milk. I'll do about a cup of that. This almond butter from Costco, bomb. All right, I got, probably should have got all my ingredients out. This is just me, my life, okay. I don't know, I don't really measure. Mike likes to use a measuring cup, but I don't like to dirty too many dishes, so I'll fill it like pretty decent with almond milk. And then I'll get some water from the fridge, a little bit. And then this is Vega Sport Premium Protein. I got it on Amazon. Protein powder is so expensive. Like who in the hell? Let's just like talk for a second. So I was hesitant to do this because I thought maybe it was like off brand because I am primarily just like a beauty channel. Like I do, I love makeup, I review makeup. I, you know, you guys know, you guys know my channel, this is different. But like also I feel like I'm just one of those people where I have a lot of passions in life. I love makeup, I love clothes. I really love shoes and bags, like that's really what I love. Um, and I love working out, like I'm so passionate about working out and I feel like a lot of people that I know always are looking for workout inspiration and like asking me what I do. So I don't know, I just wanna share all my knowledge and I really just wanna talk about the things that I love. I feel like a question that I've been getting a lot lately is what is your goal with your YouTube channel? And like, I have like mini goals, but I don't know what like the overall goal is. I really just wanna enjoy my life and share the things that I love. I really don't have friends. I spend most of my time with Mike and like his family and my family. So I spend a lot of my time with my family. I don't really have any friends. So I don't know. I want to talk to people online about the things that I love. Maybe make some friends through it. But getting back to this protein shake after that life talk. And then I'll do like one spoonful of this almond butter. So I don't know. Clearly I'm very unsure about this video, but I thought it'd be fun different maybe it won't jive with my channel and at which point i just won't film them anymore i'm still gonna do the stuff in this video though because i love working out i don't really love protein shakes though and i love shopping so that's really the goal sharing workouts things i buy just all the things i love that's the goal with this vlog all right let's make it up a much better protein shake than what Mike makes. Everything Mike makes is really like creamy and thick. That was unintentional. But you wanna know something that's on brand with my channel? Uh, the fact that there are swatches on my arm that won't come off. Did I stain myself with eyeshadow? Possibly, maybe. Actually, yes. Yes, I did. Um, are you supposed to be on this chair? Senor, get down. Come on, I love you very much, but you have to get off the chair. You're not allowed on this chair. Come on. Don't bite, mom. Get down, get down. Okay, I'll take you down. Thank you for never listening. Okay, we know the mailman just got here and I was gonna go shower, but my uh, package has arrived. And can you please stop? I'm trying to vlog. Nobody understands it. This is a new thing. Nobody gets it, I'm trying to vlog. Please stop barking, please. Anyway. The mailman just got here and I think he dropped off my Gucci shoes. Um, I'm actually doing an article right now. I'm writing about my emotions with buying expensive designer luxury things. So let's film this and I'm gonna throw this on that article. So hey. My mom always told me not to put new shoes on a table because it's bad luck. Let me set you guys up. All right guys, here's the box. I'm freaking out. Oh my God, Gucci. I've never owned anything Gucci. Actually, that's a lie. I have a Gucci belt, but my uncle gave it to me. Why can't I open this with one hand? Get with it, girl. <gasps> I'm scared. My heart is like racing right now, honestly. <sighs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm scared. They're so pretty. These are really, these are really freaking cool. I need to digest this. Oh my God, look at 
the bottom is gold. Look at that. Holy crap. That is me. If this isn't me in a shoe, I don't know what is. All right, and it came with two baggies that have a little Gucci logo on them. And I love it when they give you two because I hate when it's just one and you have to put them in the same bag. Because then I get scared that like the heel, the one heel is going to hit the other shoe and scratch it. But I don't even want to put this on the floor. Like, I'm terrified. My heart is really racing right now. <laughs> so dramatic. Stop it. Do you see what Brogan does? He attacks Chloe. So cool. And look at the hearts. I love that. Oh my god, these are so cool. Wow. These are beautiful. Are they on your feet? No, I don't want to put them on. I'm so scared. I don't know. I don't know. But I can't try them on. I'm scared. Oh, they're hot. I think so too. I like them a lot. <sighs> I want to try them on, but I'm scared I'm going to scratch them. Do you actually think they're cool? I do think they're cool, and you probably are going to scratch them. Um, no, but like once they're mine, I'm like fine. I'm actually going to wear them a lot, but I don't want to ruin them if I'm not sure that I'm going to keep them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get it. Yeah, sure. Okay. But what about the others? I think I love them, though. The silver? <laughs> I think so. What do you think? I don't know. Ew. Where can we go see the others? We can't. We have to order them online. I can easily... I got these because I can easily return them at Bloomingdale's, but I can't easily return the other ones. And there are reviews online saying that, like, people are waiting for their refunds and it's taken a lot longer than, like, they were told it was going to take. So that sounds sketchy. And if I don't love them, I wasn't going to keep them. But do we think I would love them more in white? I don't know. I really love these, though. Those are really nice. I'd want to see them in white and black. And in, in black. Let's take a poll. I don't know, but now I'm scared. Should I buy them all? But then return the ones that I don't want? All right, so it looks like the debate continues. So I'll let you guys know. All right, Chloe. I just got out of the shower. I feel so much cleaner now. I am about to do my weekly tanning. Every Saturday, I wake up, work out, and I exfoliate my whole body. Um, I can go get the exfoliator. You might see my bum, though. I can just cut it out, though, if you do. Oh, I don't think you did. Okay, so every Saturday I exfoliate my legs and my entire body actually using the Shea Sugar Scrub from, what is this, Tree Hut. Love this stuff. Smells so good. It smells like the summer. Coconut lime. That's exactly what it smells like. So I exfoliate my entire body with this. Then I go in the shower. I shave. And now I'm going to self-tan as I usually do. So I'm going to take off all of my rings because I don't want to ruin them, stain them. I make a potion. If you guys watched my March favorites, you'll know that I have been using this self-tanning product, the Saint Tropez Self-Tan in Classic. And if it's loud outside, sorry, Mike's power washing the house because our engagement party is next weekend, which I'm like excited, but also terrified because our families are meeting for the first time. But that's for another day. We, I'll let you know how that goes. I don't really want to talk about that. I do a mixture. I take this and then I like the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. It's sheer, it's light, so. It's not heavy. I don't like a heavy moisturizer because I sweat. I have a sweating problem. Hi, if you're new here, it's it's my thing. I sweat a lot. So I my potion is two pumps of vino. So I'll do two pumps of a vino. And then a full pump of my Saint Tropez, which is a mousse. So it looks like that. And then I rub it together in my palms. I just bring it up my legs. This usually will get my calves, my feet. Sorry if this is like skewing you out. I don't feel like I have that ugly feet, but you never know. And I just thin this out and I go in like long strokes and just thin it out and that is what I do. And I do this all over my body. Maybe I'll do a dedicated video to self tanning because I don't feel like finding appropriate clothes to do this. This is just my routine. I want this to be real and you guys can't see me naked. And that literally just covered my calves. So then I'll take two pumps of lotion, another pump of the self tanner, and then I'll do the top of my leg, I'll do my thighs, my butt, and the rest of my body. And you can definitely tell that this leg is a lot more bronzed than this leg. And yeah, I love it. I think everybody looks better with the tan. I'm pretty pale, and this like covers up my veins a little bit. Like this leg, super veiny, because I'm so pale. My veins are so blue. But you could definitely get a darker look than this, but I'm pretty pale, so I want to keep it natural for the time being. Oh, and look at my finger. There's all, like, bronzer all over me. See, you can, like, get really dark. 
So in order to get darker, just put more tanning lotion and use less lotion. Do one pump of cream and then maybe two pumps of tanning and you'll be a lot darker than this. So yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I do like it. So I just did this makeup look and I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't film it because I'm actually really happy with how it came out. But I feel like a lot of the time that happens, like my best makeup happens when I'm not filming. I'm not naked, I'm wearing a bandeau because I tanned. So I don't know, I let my skin dry a lot. Is this, is this look inappropriate? Probably. I should go get a cardigan. Shit. Ever, I couldn't find a cardigan. I'll just zoom you guys down. I wanna change this. I used a lot of products from my Ipsy bags from the past two months. And I'm so excited because I actually just got upgraded to the bigger Ipsy bag. I don't really remember what exactly it's called. It's like Ipsy box, I don't know. But um, so yeah, I'm paying $25 a month now for full size. So instead of mini, which is what you usually get if you do the typical glam bag, I'm getting a fuller size one. So that's really exciting because I've been on the wait list for quite a few months now. I did do a video on my Ipsy bag. So if you're ever interested in seeing like what kind of products you would get, I'll put that up here. You can watch it when this video is over. Look, my Ricky loves Ricky. Oh, my God, this mirror is like the most amazing thing. Here, look. Look at how much light and you can control the light. I guess I should put it down. I like love this thing. What it looks like, I got the mini one. Excuse my mess around, but you charge it, you can put it on, you can make it brighter. Come on. Yeah, so it's nice. And I use this to film. It gives my videos a lot more light, so they look a lot better than they used to. So yeah. So I think I'm gonna film this tomorrow. I'll put it up here and you guys can check it out. And I feel like I'm doing a lot of like video promoting in this clip, which I don't mean to, but these are things that I talk about. If you are interested, I'll put that up here. Check it out when this is over. And I'll also link it down below in the description box so you can check that out. I actually got this concealer in my last Ipsy bag, the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. But I'm just gonna use it on my bod to cover this up a little bit. And I use this all over my face. And I try to use the minimum amount of foundation because I've been hearing a lot of people say lately that foundation really irrit- Oh, that looks so much better. That foundation has been really irritating their skin and that they don't really use it. So I wanted to do a minimal glam practicing. And I have to say, I think my skin looks pretty good. It has a lot to do with skincare though. You gotta take care of your skin if you wanna use less makeup and I love how this is a vlog and yet I'm sitting in my beauty room I'm talking about makeup and that is because this really plays a large role in my life you know when I'm not doing this I'm working out as you've seen in this vlog you see what I do so I'm constantly busy I feel like let's go try on my shoes because I'm clean now I'm so excited but so scared all right, so let's go in my closet. I do wanna do a closet tour, but I am in the midst of cleaning all this shit out and it's kind of dirty. Excuse my pajama pants. I meant to fold them and my knee brace because your girl's getting old and I got a bad knee. But if you saw in the video earlier, I was wearing this on my knee while I was working out. So I gotta wash that. Actually, let's be productive and organized and put that in the hamper. All right, here we go, ladies. I'm so scared. Oh my god, they're so comfortable. <gasps> Get out. My god. I don't look the best right now. Hello, I look a little crazy. Actually, ignore me, but obviously I wouldn't be wearing this outfit, but look at the babies. Wow. I feel like these are the happiest things I've ever owned. Let's take a moment of silence for my beautiful shoes and for my Bloomingdale's credit card. <gasps> Look at that sparkle. I truly love them. But does one deserve them? I mean, I think I deserve them, but it's like, do I be a reasonable adult and not spend that much money on shoes? I am writing an article about the internal struggles of buying designer goods. Like these are beautiful, but like, do I deserve them? I feel like in a lot of ways, the answer is definitely yes. But like, should I spend my money on this? That is a different question. It's kind of funny. I feel like it was a piece that I wrote that really made me reflect on myself and what I've accomplished and how I, you know, beat myself up a lot. I tell myself I'm not good enough. I tell myself, I could be better, I could be doing more, but sometimes you just need to stop and look behind you and see all that you have
I've achieved thus far and I feel like I've achieved a decent amount of things so maybe I do deserve them is it smart though that's I don't know see this is the internal struggle so I do encourage you to go read that article because I feel like if you are a bougie gal like I am you can totally relate to this article because it really hit home for me and like I said it really made me reflect on things so TBD whether I'm keeping these or not so I'm just gonna sit here in my closet and wear them I love them oh my god all right I need to go decompress all right I just took some photos for my Instagram my Instagram is seriously lacking but look at my hair I put that um bumble and bumble thickening cream I don't know what it is but I'll definitely link it down below every time I put it in which is hardly ever because I never really do my hair my hair just like explodes so I think this is it I think this is where we're ending with this vlog. I've done a lot today. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know in the comments section if you wanna see more of these. Definitely filming this makeup look tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm having such a good hair day and I didn't even film this. Why me? Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, I would love to have you. So hit subscribe, also hit the bell button this way you get a notification when I upload videos and yeah, I had so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is definitely something new and different, but I am definitely all ears. I will hear your criticism. So anything you guys wanna say, any suggestions, so helpful. I am so open to all of them listening and yeah, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys later.